Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Lentangan from Techno Buffalo, and in today's episode of Rumor Roundup, we're going to be talking about iOS 9, the Moto X 2015, the OnePlus 2, and Microsoft's plan to release two new flagship Lumia phones. This is Rumor Roundup, so let's go ahead and get started. Windows 10 should be available in just a couple of months, but the reason why we won't see Windows 10 for phones right off the bat is because Microsoft wants time to finish development on two new Lumia flagships. At least, that's what it sounds like. According to Unleash the Phones, Microsoft is working on two new high-end Lumia phones known as CityMan and TalkMan. CityMan is apparently Microsoft's true flagship device and sports the kind of specs Android users are accustomed to. We're talking about a 5.7-inch QHD display, an octa-core Qualcomm processor, 3GB of RAM, and a 20-megapixel camera. We're also expecting it to come with a removable back, giving users access to the battery and a microSD slot. Meanwhile, Microsoft's TalkMan will be very similar with a 5.2-inch QHD display, a hexa-core Qualcomm processor, 3GB of RAM, and a 20-megapixel shooter. It's still unclear whether the device will sport a removable back like its bigger brother, but seeing as they're somewhat similar, it probably will. Motorola already confirmed plans to release an updated Moto X in 2015, but until now, we didn't know what to expect from the third generation device. A new report suggests that the company is gearing up to release a device that should offer a solid upgrade over last year's Moto X. According to a list of specs sent to Gadget's portal, the Moto X 2015 will pack some seriously high-end hardware. The device will apparently come equipped with a 5.2-inch QHD AMOLED display, a 16-megapixel camera, a 5-megapixel front-facing shooter, a Snapdragon 808 processor, a 3280 mAh battery, 4GB of RAM, and either 32 or 64GB of storage. Motorola didn't unveil the Moto X 2014 until September, so we're probably at least a few months away from the new flagship phone. It is possible some of those alleged specs could change between now and then, but if these specs are legit, we'll be pretty happy. A report surfaced on Tuesday that suggested Apple is still missing major music deals before it introduces its revamped Beats music streaming service during WWDC. Now another report offers some clarification on that in addition to new details we can expect from Apple during WWDC. 9to5Mac said Apple may indeed be missing major record deals as Billboard noticed, but that it still plans to introduce its new streaming music service at WWDC. Still, the site warned that while the iOS app will be ready inside of iOS 8.4, Versions of Apple TV and Mac aren't ready yet. Apple will also reportedly introduce iOS 9 currently codenamed Monarch with a totally revamped version of Siri that closely mimics the more colorful user interface of Siri on the Apple Watch. 9to5Mac's Mark Gurman didn't provide any additional details about what a new version of Siri might offer, but we hope it grows more powerful to match competitions such as Google Now and Microsoft's Cortana. So what about you guys? What do you guys want to see in iOS 9? Let us know in the comments down below. Last but not least, let's talk about the OnePlus 2. OnePlus still hasn't revealed many details for its upcoming OnePlus 2, but over on Chinese social network Weibo, the company's CEO Pete Lau isn't holding back. He was chatting up with fans and asked how much the company should charge if its next smartphone packs a Snapdragon 810 processor. One fan suggested a price of around $400, which he didn't balk at. Instead, he said, sounds reasonable which suggests the company might look at increasing the price of its next phone in order to deliver high-end parts. Of course, it's not as cheap as the original OnePlus One, which costs as little as $299 off contract, but as OnePlus continues to improve its device and scale up, I wouldn't be surprised if the price goes up at least a little bit. Rumor has it that the OnePlus 2 will offer a sharper 5.5-inch display, a bigger battery, and some kind of biometric scanner. The company recently confirmed that the OnePlus 2 will be sold on an invite system just like the original one, but hopefully, hopefully, it'll be available in higher volume early on. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Rumor Roundup. Anything that I talked about in this video will be in a link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.